Why does your bow keep going crooked? What's going on? It's Jason Heath, and one of the biggest challenges people face when luring the double bass is keeping a straight bow. Fixing a crooked bow can be so frustrating and confusing, really, because it's kind of hard to diagnose on your own, and once you get the habit going, it can be extremely challenging to break it. A crooked bow could be one of the biggest obstacles to achieving your goals on the bass. So in this video, we're going to cover why a straight bow is important, how you can fix a crooked bow, and how you can ingrain that habit to make sure it sticks. Before we dig in, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Modacity, which has been my practice app of choice for the past several years. Mark Gelfo, the founder of Modacity, has created something truly innovative. It has helped me in my practicing. It has helped me to get back into practicing, which is something that I really struggled with for a long time. You can get a special lifetime offer in the link in the description below. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video, Modacity. Okay, first off, why is it important to play with a straight bow? First off, let's define exactly what straight bow means. By that, we're looking for the bow to be perpendicular to the string. So we're looking for a 90 degree angle between the bow hair and the string itself. Really, it all comes down to physics. If you're at a 90 degree angle and you pull the bow across the string, it'll remain in the same spot on the string. This will result in a full sound and it will keep there from being any bow hair distortion noise, and we'll get into that later. It's easier to control the bow that way, and you'll get a fuller sound, and you'll avoid any sort of distortion sound from the bow kind of struggling on the string. If your bow leaves that 90 degree angle, it's going to start drifting up or down the string, depending on what bow direction you're going, and depending on which way you're angled with the bow. Now, as you get into more advanced playing, there are times when you want to intentionally let the bow go crooked to move it toward the bridge or away from the bridge. That is especially helpful in shifting and other techniques, but that's a topic for another video. If your bow is crooked, it is actually possible to keep the bow on the same spot on the string. You can kind of force it there, but that's going to cause a loss of sound. It's going to cause not the fullest sound, and you're going to get some extraneous noise just from the physics of the bow wanting to drift up and down the string, because it's crooked, and you trying to keep it in the same spot. In short, if you want a consistent sound and a good sound and something that you can control, you want that bow to be straight. So that's why you want a straight bow, but if you don't have a straight bow, your bow is crooked a little bit, how do you fix it? For me, it starts off with being hyper aware about what you're doing, and that generally means parking yourself in front of a mirror and just focusing on that bow. Watch that angle, make sure that bow is 90 degrees. Is it 90 degrees? Great. If not, let's get into what you can do about that. I start off by focusing on the G string. So I put my bow on the G string. And the reason I start on the G string is because anything I do on the G string is gonna be a little bit easier on the other strings because I'm at the fullest extent, uh, just technically, when I'm over on the G string. So I go over to the tip and I put my bow right at the tip and I look in the mirror and I see, is wow. this straight? It's especially helpful if you have someone to help you out with this because it can be kind of hard to understand exactly what a straight bow is sometimes at first. And even in the mirror, it can be a bit confusing so try to see if you can be straight out like that. Now, if you're not, you're probably going to want to address that. And that means looking at your posture, possibly looking at your end pin height, bringing your base up can help. Now that introduces some other factors because the shoulders can get in the way. Making your base a bit more upright, whether you stand or sit, that can also help. But you want to try to find a way technically to be straight or as straight as possible at the tip on the G-string. Again, this is our maximum extension right here. We do not generally spend our life <laughs> all the way at the tip of the bow on the G-string, but you want to make sure that you can have that range of motion. One more thing that can help, remember we're not locked in position necessarily, and you can think about rotating your torso to let everything just kind of turn, and that makes this easier a lot of the time. I think it's quite common for us to feel like we're sort of boxed into a position, but especially when you go to the G-string, if I'm standing, or even if I'm sitting, I let my torso rotate, I might even bring the base in a little bit, and all of a sudden, that can be enough to just get that angle manageable. Whether it's adjusting the height, or changing the way that you approach the base, or any one of these factors, you're going to find a way, or hopefully, <laughs> otherwise you might need to investigate a different size of base, 
or shape of base or something like that, but you're going to be able to find a way to be at the tip of the bow and have the bow be straight still. If you can do that there, it's going to be possible to play with a straight bow elsewhere. But once you get that figured out, how do you get that habit to stick? Keeping that bow straight when you start to think about other things in the music, and there's so much else to think about, right? That's one of the biggest challenges I find for players, and especially if you've been in the habit of having a crooked bow, oh boy, as soon as you start thinking dynamics or start thinking about making a phrase or even shifting, that bow is just one of the first things to go. So the first thing to do is just be on it. Be hyper vigilant. Look at that mirror, focus on that bow, get a practice buddy, get a, t this is where teachers is really helpful, frankly, just have them be a stickler and just don't allow yourself to make a sound with a crooked bow. If your bow is crooked, there is no bass playing. You just have to sometimes make a hard and fast rule like that. Just don't allow yourself to do it. It can seem extreme, but that's sometimes what you gotta do to break a habit. It's also important to understand what a straight bow looks like from your perspective, because when you're looking in the mirror, that's one thing, but from your visual perspective, it can be kind of confusing to understand that straight bow angle. So I found it very helpful with students to look at the bow in the mirror then look at how it looks from their perspective and then look back up and just understand, get that body map imprinted in the brain so that you understand how your body feels at different parts in the bow when it's straight. Just make that part of your daily routine and that can be really helpful. Finally, practicing exercises that give you time to just focus on keeping a straight bow and keeping everything ergonomic in general. That's something I do at the beginning of my practice session. To this day, I've been doing it for decades and I do it in front of a mirror, I use a video camera, I'll use my phone, I just check in and I make sure that I am keeping that bow path straight, that I understand what it looks like visually. If you are working on developing this habit or breaking the old habit or both, I guess, I think that it's helpful to do it a little bit throughout the practice session. Probably try to slow down the pace of what else you're working on. Just give this your undivided attention because if you're like me, you see someone play and if they have a crooked bow, it's like nothing else they're doing matters. I've had people come and play for me and they say, what do you think about this expressive phrase that I'm doing or this or that? And I say, well, it's not working because your bow's crooked. The sound's not there. There are all sorts of technical problems. You can't really control the bow except in a very elementary way. And you're just not able to realize your potential with that crooked bow. So this is a big one, simple yet deceptively challenging, particularly to fix if it's a habit you've got ingrained, but just understanding what a crooked bow looks like, understanding what you need to do to remedy it, and then just ingraining that on a consistent basis, that's gonna fix it. That's a look inside why bows go crooked and how to fix it. If you wanna go further, check out this video. We've got linked up about the fundamentals of bowing a double bass. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Yeah.